Howdy, folks. Shabby's back. And he's back to cook up some delicious secret recipes from the back country of Great Bear Island. Well, we're not there yet, actually. We have to we have to get there, and then probably after that, then there'll be maybe I should save this for the next. This intro's for the next episode. How about that? It's be kind of weird. All right. All right, clumsy start. You know, I'll be the first to admit it. Okay, folks, so Shabby... Look, okay, so Shabby has a little nine-week-old puppy in the room with me. And so I might... Uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I might have to cut cut this thing short. Right now he's sleeping, so... Um, but you never know. It's, it really is like, uh, could change at any moment. Could change at any moment. Alright, do I need to keep this fire going? I can't remember. Let's, let me, I don't want to, I don't want to lose this fire if I don't. Oh, uh, we're going to sleep. We're exhausted. Alright, well, let's just go out here. I'm going to, I'm going to just get something... I'll get a fire going just cause. We'll either make water or we'll... Let's just cook this meat, I guess. It's just been sitting here waiting to be cooked. Okay. Alright, he's up. I don't know, like he pees every like three seconds. So it's like, anytime he's like standing up, it's like, uh oh, is he gonna pee? <laughs> Alright, he's right under my desk now. does. Okay, now he's just laying there. Alright. He's not gonna pee on my power cords? <laughs> just short the whole thing out? That'd be something. Okay. Let's get a couple torches off this because it's... Alright. There we go. Alright, we don't want to burn our meat. Uh, we got tons of crows. I gotta do some, uh, let's just do a few, since we have, uh, some more daylight, and, uh, I'd rather just get back onto a, a, a nice day-night cycle, um, I think what I should do is go back down to the fishing hut and sort some stuff out. I right, we'll leave these fish here, um... Should I take the beef jerky? Kind of want to leave it. No, we'll take it because we have a ton of food here, so we don't need any more food. Um, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna take this stuff back over to the fishing hut. I'll leave the tools here. Um, it's sort of a it's sort of a tackle box now at this point, right? All right, is this full? Should we, um, yes, refuel this. Oh, we can't. Oh, and if we do, then the jerry can disappears. So, don't want to do that. Maybe I could just refuel and then just escape. Okay. I'm still not, I'm not sure if I'm going to take the lantern with me, but. We'll leave the fishing tip up here as well. I'll take that out to the. I'll just take most of the stuff out to the to the fishing hut. Drop this. We'll leave the metal here as well. For crafting purposes. Uh, the wires will also stay out here. And see the hacksaw. Let me think. Yeah, the hacksaw stays here. Okay, and then everything else needs to be back at the fishing hut, so let's go do that. Just sorting our stuff. We gotta sort our stuff here. I don't trust the. I don't trust anything. Don't trust anything. No. I'm just, uh, just playing it. Just play it safe. Just play it safe. We got a bunch. Oh, we got to drop our. Let's drop our fish there. That's what's really weighing us down right there. 
I think we have like six or seven kilos of fish that we have to take with us. Well, that's gonna be a good time. Look, our fire's still going out here. Beautiful. So cozy. So co Look at all this food and fuel. Oh my goodness. Still two hours on that fire. <laughs> okay. I guess I just left. I mean, it's, it's been two days since I've played, so it feels like it's been forever. Like, well, how can this still be going? And then the tip up. There we go. All right. Look here. We still got our newspaper we haven't finished reading. A little bit of water. Wish I had more water here, but we weren't fishing with a pot, which really makes a big difference as far as accumulating water goes. I think that's it. I think I don't. I think I'm good on everything else. Oh, we need to get some coal. Okay, here we go. How much coal do we need? Like five? I think five's enough. Seven. Lucky number seven. All right. We'll go with seven. All right. I don't see any critters about. This was fun. I, I really enjoyed uh, Coastal Highway, it's our time here. The hypothermia wouldn't kill There's me. still lots to explore in the zone. So if we ever come back, you know. Still not totally sure what we're going to do. I really am feeling the, the new run vibes, though. But everyone's doing, everyone seems to be doing 500 day runs nowadays. I don't know, maybe that's the cool, maybe that's the cool thing to do right now. 500 day run. We could attempt it at least. Let's see, did this go out on us? Oh good, they cooked. Okay, that's good. Alright, um, and they don't look cooked. But they are, okay. Yeah, see, these are, are uncooked. They look so close. Gotta be careful. Keep your meat separated. Look before you eat. I think that's how the old saying goes. Alright, so we're gonna leave our lantern here. Um, oh, it's a tool. It's a tool shabby. All right. Let's we'll see what our weight situation is now. Okay, look at that. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. All right, what's something that we can do? Do we have cloth? We have 14 cloth, plenty of cloth. Got to, in fact, too much leather here. Let's drop a, we'll drop a leather. Um, and we don't have enough tar. We need to get ptarmigans, y'all. We got to get some ptarmigans. Yeah, that's our next. Uh, that's our next thing we got to do. So I can't repair this. this oh, I can. Oh yeah, let's repair this for sure. Let's do that for sure. That that goes pretty it goes it gets damaged pretty quickly. Are right, we have a uh, rabbit hide in this other in this other building over here. I wanna be careful because I have three fish on me. I'm really stinky. Some pesky old wolf coming around the corner. We don't want any of that. All right. Now I know somewhere in here. here here's a rabbit hide. Here we go. 
You know, I was thinking, like, since the gloves get so wet, frozen pretty easily, it might be a good idea to... It might be a good idea to have a backup pair of gloves on you. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the wait carrying carrying extra gloves around. I might need it at the farmhouse because we, we might have to sleep in the um, we might have to sleep in uh, a, a snow shelter. So it might be nice to have an extra pair of gloves if these get all messed up. All right, excellent. Yeah, I guess I really did need to do a lot of repairs here. I've been neglecting, I've been neglecting this. Oh, uh, cured leather, here we go. It's a perfect time to do all this. This is great. Oh. There was a fa I'm glad I failed on that as opposed to other things. Okay. Can you eat trees? Cuz I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a tree. It only, it only weighs a tenth of a kilo, as opposed to a whole kilo for these, which these are far better, don't get me wrong, I'm just saying. If your clothes are freezing up on you, it might be nice to have an extra backup pair of gloves you can slip on real quick. Alright, okay, we're in, the, we're in the good zone now, so let's, uh, we're done repairing clothes. Glad we did it. I think four bandages is, is okay. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, let's see what our our warmth bonus now is 27. Pretty solid. That's pretty solid. All right. Tool maintenance type stuff. Could do some sharpening. Okay. Let's do a little bit of sharpening. We'll go to sleep. That's it. Okay, I think that's it. So let me grab some food real quick and then glad I can see in here, kind of. All right, let me just, okay. This is gonna be. This is not gonna be too bad. This is not gonna be too bad. All right, let's sleep for ten hours. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Sounds like a had a little bit of a. Dang. I was going to say, we had an aurora sound like for a second. It would have been nice to check um, for hidden caches nearby. Alright, sounds like crappy weather. So, we can still sleep. So, let's sleep for another three hours. Okay, 
still going? I am gonna make a bandage. Oh wait, here we go. Or two bandages rather, I suppose. Now there's a pillow here. Get two. Hmm. All right. Well, let me just look and see what kind of storm we got here. Could just be windy. If it's windy, we'll just go. Oh, no, no. This is full on. Okay. Hang on just a sec, folks. Just a sec. Okay, sorry about that. Puppy time. Everything's, we're living the puppy life right now. Um, what can I do? What can I do? I mean, I would be fishing normally, but I guess we can just tear stuff up. We wanted to just with our bare hands, just rip or rip the furniture up with our bare hands. Okay, sounds like it stopped. Or it's stopping. Actually, it doesn't sound. No, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. I can hear the wind blowing. I bet it's still just going. Nope, nope. Okay. All right. Well. Um, let's go ahead and just eat, get our bellies full. Okay, gosh, we're so stinky right now, it's making me nervous. Okay, full stomachs. Let me just go in here. I just want to sort some things out real quick. I want to look at my... Oh, look at that. We're still underweight. So I could... Um, I could grab some bear meat. If I wanted to. We don't necessarily have to eat the venison pie right now. But we might want to later. I'm going to just get a flare out. And just... Go for it. Let's just go for it. I mean, we're already super stinky. You might as well just take it to the next level. Yeah, I wish I had some water, but 
We'll be okay for... We'll be okay for right now. We'll be alright. Can always make more water. Alright, off we go. I'm gonna kind of stay up here on this high side here. I think it's safer to go um, along the creek. Let's just go this way. I think we'll be fine. Just keep your ears, keep your ears peeled for anything. We don't need the flare now. Wind has stopped, so. I mean, we could just be deadly hunter mode, in fact, instead of scared torch carrying mode, which, you know, nothing wrong with that. I'm often in that mode. No judgment here. Okay, there's the, the little park area. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Okay, we're doing great. We're doing great, Astrid. Let's see. Is there more? There's a mushroom down. We need. We do need mushrooms for. Prepper's pie. All right, hang on a sec. Okay. Again, puppy. We live in the we live in a world of puppies. That's all that's all the world is, is puppies. Alright. I lost my place. Where was I? Okay, I'm over here somewhere. Alright. What's our cattail situation? 30. Perfect. Alright. This spot makes me a little nervous. There's some rabbits right there though, so I guess I shouldn't be. Wait. Oh, this is so nice. I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. This is just downright lovely. I love just leaving these cattails behind. It's off. It's just such a good. It's such a good thing to know that you still have a lot of resources available. Again, if we were going to play this for an extended amount of time, there's still plenty of unpicked cattails and and teas. Left to left to be picked and harvested or foraged. I don't know. Again, I've been thinking that if I were gonna keep playing this run, 
I think I would be interested in doing a little burdock world tour. Which is to say, find all the burdock in the in the game. And uh and then just make a bunch of preppers pies. Just because it's all foraged. It's not the best dish. I mean, if you're on Nogoa, I think it probably is the best dish uh, for that mode. It's almost game. It's almost mode breaking. I was going to say game breaking. I guess you could say game breaking because that's more of a term. It's game breaking, I feel like. Um, or just so it had so it, it it has had such a huge impact on the way that you play Nagoa um, compared to other. I mean, it's not quite as important as other modes, but it still is a pretty damn good dish. So I've been thinking maybe I'll just make a bunch of preppers pies. It's all foraged ingredients, which is kind of cool. Seems to be the burdock is probably going to be the biggest limiting factor. So I might just do a big search for burdock. I can use the Polaroids to do that, so I could look for I could also look for Polaroids at the same time. Um, to help spot the you know the burdock out there. Um, so I don't know, that's kind of something I've been thinking about doing. But I kinda wanna just play, you know, stalker stalker no health recovery mode. Which would also be fun. So I don't know. I'm having to proce process all this right now because we are getting we are getting close to the point where I need to make a decision. really need to find some ptarmigans though. We're not going to finish anything until we get ptarmigans. Alright, I think I should just... Now let's just get to this cave. We'll warm up in this cave over here. There's some rose hips over there or something. Oh well. We don't need them. The lovely ravine. Yeah, I love the ravine. Let's hop into this cave. Warm back up. few birch bark over here on the ground. You have to look really hard in the grass, though. Sometimes. Alright, let's just get in this cave. I'm too cold to be doing this business. Let's, let's get on in here. Look, we still have mushrooms here. Oh my goodness. The bounty. Oh, the bounty. Okay, I just want to just see where we're at. Got a little bit of hypothermia coming on. No big deal. Clothes are, are dry. We're a little bit stinky. Okay. Alright, I'm going to eat, eat some of this bear meat. If I can find it. Here we go. Alright, now we could either make some water, maybe we should make some water and, um, and just, just warm up, make some wa water, I think that's probably, or let's just wait, okay, 
Alright, sorry. I well let's just wait until we get over to the to the other cave. I think there's a bunch of water over there, that's why I'm saying let's just just wait it out. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I'm just I just accidentally kicked my puppy. <laughs> not hard. Not hard. They do like to get right under your feet. That's like a good spot for them. Good old ravine. You gotta love this place. This is the best. Okay. Let's just grab a bunch of birch bark. Let's see what we get in this cave. I pretty much have already cleaned this cave out, so I'm not really expecting much in here as far as ingredients go. I don't want to just look and enjoy the scenery, but also you have to look literally straight down into the grass to see birch bark. <laughs> it's like, it's thick. Oh well, I don't need it that bad. Let's just let's just find the obvious pieces here. Move on with our lives. Get on with it, Shabby. Look at this. Oh. The bounty. Look, we have a deer here that we could hunt, but we're not gonna. Man, this weather's amazing. There's a stick hiding in the grass. Okay, oh, we got the cool music. Oh, this is the best. All right. I guess we should take some of this stuff over to the... I can drop any of this gear. Take this stuff over to the dam. little bit of fuel here I don't want to touch that um yeah I need ptarmigans we need ptarmigans that's what we need okay let's keep going there's nothing actually let's take all this over because you need a workbench to do anything with those so we'll take them I don't know what the food situation is over there. Um, at the dam, I mean. So we'll take a little bit of meat. Take a little bit of meat, we can leave. Now we really stink. Stink to high heaven. Oh, this music is so good. 
This is when you know everything's okay. When those violins kick in. Ugh. Okay. All right, I'm going to probably light a torch right here cuz I think uh I think we could have some problems. Some wolf problems. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're clear. All right. I guess we were too prepared. The game was like, oh, Shabby's ready. No wolf. Abort on the wolf. Shabby's ready to go. There's no wind. We'll have to just get Shabby next time. All right. Okay. Look at this. These are all cooked pieces. <laughs> Those are just still still sitting sitting there waiting for uh, to be uh, cooked into stalker pie. I think I think that was the plan for those. All right, water. All right, we're good on water. Alright, again, I've pretty much cleared this place out. Um, I mean, sewing kits? Are those okay? I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, looks like we're good. Whetstones aren't as plentiful as I used to think, so... But we're still good on... I have wet stones kind of spread spread around the place, so... Um, this isn't our only supply. Let's check on our bow. Where are we at? 65, we're good. Um, we still have 10 arrowheads. And 7 or 8 arrows, so we have... Yeah, we're good. We don't need to get any more arrowheads. We might need to make more arrows. Or we could just go on to... Go on to... Um... The farmhouse. I think we should just keep going. I think I do need it. I'm going to take a couple of these. I'm 
I'm not sure what the birch sapling situation is at the farmhouse. Let's take let's let's uh let's go ahead and just repair our boots. Let's do that and then we'll go. Clothing. Boots. They don't really need to be repaired, but let's do it. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm just gonna keep going because we have good weather. I have all the stuff at the da at the farmhouse already. Uh, we have a storm lantern at the. F I do remember having a storm lantern at the farmhouse, so we're good on that. I guess the only thing I'm really not sure of is if we have quality tools at the at the farmhouse, but I think we do. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Let's go ahead and just eat that, actually. There we go. Drinking coffee here. Oop. Oh, I guess you have to go this way. That was the worst possible way to go, Shabby. Come on. See, that wolf is after a rabbit, but he definitely smelt us. Yeah, he's stalking a rabbit right now. There he goes. Alright. Don't know if we'll have time to get down there or not. It's gonna be kind of right down here. There he is. Okay. This is good. This works out. All right. That worked out. Broke another arrow. Grab this. What's on this rabbit? Let's look at this rabbit. Oh, we can't. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Here we go. This stuff will come in handy. Oh, it's still got. It's still good. This is still a good rabbit. Let's get it. This is good. Wow. Everything's just coming together so nicely right now. I shouldn't be too... Don't be too happy though, Shabby. The game could hear you. You're about to go into Pleasant Valley. Be careful what you say.
But you know, we do have beef jerky in our pocket right now, so I mean, there's really nothing that can stop us. If you think about it. I've not heard any ptarmigans. I don't know if ptarmigans, if it's snowing like this, or they're, um... I wonder if the crows and the ptarmigans have the same kind of spawn situation. As opposed to rabbits, let's say. Because rabbits can be out in this, but crows won't. So I wonder what the ptarmigan... ptarmigan's behavior is... You know, come to think of it, I haven't seen Tarbians in a long time. We definitely didn't hunt them out of existence. I, I was leaving one uh, Tarbian behind every time I would hunt. I would just hunt three instead of four. As a, you know, as a good conservationist. But, uh... That hasn't really helped our situation. They're not plentiful. <laughs> a lot of coal to be gotten in this cave. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount. So we might take a little side. Let's go down this way. It's probably been 30 days or 40 days, maybe, since we've been through here. So everything should already be um, respawned, but I don't see any coal in here at all. So maybe I'm wrong on that day count. No, no, no. It hasn't been that long because we came through here just before we went to Coastal Highway. So, it hasn't really been that long. But I don't think we went through here last time. So there should be some. Here we go. Early game deer carcass right there. That's... That's one that's one of those deer that you want to get early game. I mean if you're headed towards Mystery Lake, which I would always recommend as a starting zone to get to get kind of established, get your feet get your feet underneath you. So you get the guts and hide off of that deer and then take it over to the dam. All you have to do is get past one wolf. And uh, then you got you got some resources curing nearby as you as you do your business in in Mystery Lake. Look at this. I remember doing that. I put something in a pile of sticks and I had to move the sticks out of the way. I can't remember what it was though now. All right, look at this. Let's keep going. We gotta keep going, y'all. Let me look around, make sure there's no bears. I'll leave a little bit of coal. Now we are very, very stinky, so we need to be extra careful here. I 
and I'm mainly talking about bears. So let's just let's go on the other. Let's kind of let's kind of keep on this side of things. Because we're definitely going to have some wolves on us, but the bear is a different that's a different animal altogether. Literally. Still have mushrooms here. Rabbit tracks, huh? Okay. Look, we left this prop deer here. Untouched. Here he comes. There's that wolf. Heading our way. Let's go out here to meet him. Oh, scared of us. He won't be scared long though. We we have too much stink on us for him to be uh, ignoring us. Not gonna happen. Really? Okay. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Alright, I want to take this... If we get a wind all of a sudden and you're torchless and you're... Zigging and zagging. Oh, he changed his mind. Okay. I don't like this erratic behavior. It's freaking me out. I'm totally expecting to see a wolf or a bear come over this hill right here. Forgot that I had this rabbit on me. We gotta get, we gotta get this. We gotta just get the meat off this rabbit and just keep going. And drop it. Drop the rest. All right, I'm gonna run it. I gotta stop here. I got something. Something just came up. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. Oh my gosh. Alright, hang on. We got something going on here. We gotta stop. Okay, folks. That's it for Shabby. 